Hello everyone, today is Thursday, August 5th. The time is 11.27 a.m. and the temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius. I'm here at the Centerville Amusement Park, which is located at the Toronto Islands. And there is a look at the sky ride. Since I was here, I thought I would hop onto the sky ride and take it across the park where it heads east and then it turns around and heads back to where we are. I thought it might make a neat video, so I will try to head over and hop onto the ride. I'm not sure if cameras are allowed or not, so I'll probably tuck this into my pocket while I'm boarding the ride and then I'll pull it back out once I'm on. I also have a backpack with me. I don't think bags are allowed on the ride, but I'll see if I can get that on as well. And as you can see, there is no lineup. All right, let's give this a go. And we are on. And there's a look down at the antique cars. And just to the right is where an old train ride was. Well, it still is, but it's not in service right now. I think the flooding a few years ago knocked that out. And that's a look to the south, or rather to the north. We are on the island, so you do have to take a ferry or a water taxi to get out here. There's the Toronto Island Mine Coaster. And this amusement park was not open last year at all, but I think it just opened in July this year. There goes the roller coaster. I actually went on that <laughs> right before I recorded this video. I also went on a log flume ride. which is just off in that direction. And there's a farm area. You can certainly smell it from here. And it's been several years since I've been to the islands. And ironically, I was here yesterday. I was recording a video with CJ Hoyle, who is a Toronto YouTuber. We did sort of a guided bicycle tour around the islands. CJ is very knowledgeable. So there'll be one video appearing on his channel. We covered around Hanlon's Point. And that is to the west of here. And then the center and eastern part of the islands will be appearing on my channel. And there's the skyline off in the distance. I 
can't see my viewfinder that well as I'm wearing sunglasses. So hopefully I got it. And there is St. Andrew's Church. I learned from CJ yesterday that was the original church on the islands. I think it's the only one. And that dates back to the 1800s. And that is not its original location. They had to split it in two to relocate it to where it is now. And here's where the turnaround is. And there's part of the Frisbee golf course. So I think this ride opened with the island, uh, or with the island amusement park back in 1967. And this actually replaced a couple of amusement parks. Back in the 30s, there was another amusement park over near Hanlands Point. And that was removed to make way for the airport. And there was another amusement park down just south of Lakeshore called Sunnyside. And I think that was removed due to the construction of the Gardner Expressway. And we have turned around. And these islands here used to be quite developed. It was full of homes and there was even a bowling alley and the amusement park and the first professional baseball stadium where Babe Ruth hit a home run was located on these islands over at Hanlon's Point. But with the construction of the Gardner Expressway and the loss of a lot of parkland, The decision was made to turn it into mostly a park area. So a lot of the homes here were removed. They are mostly on leases. Although there were a few stragglers that managed to fight off eviction and I think there's around six or 700 residents still on the islands to this day. can't tell if she's really scared or if she's just faking it for her kid. This is not the style of video I've ever recorded before. So to get to the islands, you can take a ferry. There's a ferry terminal down near Bay and Queens Key. 
they'll come to three different points, but if you're coming to Centerville, you'll want to go to Center or Center Island. There's also private water taxis, that's how I got here. And that'll run you about $10 a person. The ferry will be about $8.50. And I think admission to this park with an all-day pass is around $10 or so. I do have this blue wristband, which lets me get on any ride I want. But I think this will be the only ride I go on from here on. There's a splash pad area. All right, we're almost there. I hope you enjoyed this ride on the Sky Ride. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I'm not sure I'll be able to do this sort of thing too often on the channel. But I thought since I was here, I might as well give it a go. I'm going to get my backpack on. Thank you. There we go. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.